This photograph was taken by Eric Montague in 1974. It can be found on the Merton Historical Society's website under the Eric Montague collection of photographs. As it happens, three years later in 1977, I took some photographs inside my parents' flat in Mainwaring Court, Arnfield Crescent. Yes, I know that Mainwaring should be pronounced Mannering, as in Captain Mannering on Dad's Army, but Mainwaring is how we pronounced it, so I'm going to stick with that pronunciation. Let's start with the kitchen. Here's a picture of the kitchen sink and draining board. Underneath that draining board was the coal bunker. Coal, or as I recall, coke, was delivered by the coalman, who would bring it up in the lift, walk along the communal walkway, and empty it into the bunker just by opening the hatch. I don't believe it was locked. From the coal bunker, we would take the coke to the front room and burn it in the fire. Subsequently, we moved to gas. And I think the coal bunkers were all eventually bricked up. So it would then serve as a storage space. In this kitchen, which I didn't photograph for some reason, were three cupboards. The first cupboard on the left had the hot water tank, and so that was the airing cupboard for the clothes to dry. The middle cupboard was where the gas meter was, and that tended to be the area where we kept medicines and such things, washing powder and what have you. The third cupboard on the right nearest to the sink area was the pantry. And it was quite a, quite a large slab of concrete, I guess, which kept things cool. So that was where basically most food was stored that wasn't kept in the fridge. As it happens, there wasn't actually much room for a fridge in the kitchen. And so my father bought a tabletop version of a fridge and fitted it into a cupboard in the hall. As shown in this photograph, the hall that is, the cupboard had a door on it and so you can't actually see where the fridge is, but you'll just have to trust me, it's behind where that jacket is hanging. And the door straight ahead leads to the living room. And here's that gas fire I referred to earlier on in the living room. Above it, a mantelpiece with some ornaments. And to the left, television. And given the cards and lights, this photograph was probably taken around Christmas time. A better view of that television set. In the corner of the room, windows to the left, looking down to the street, I feel present. And to the left of that television, an ashtray on a stand. And to the left of that, sideboard. To the right of the fireplace, in the corner there, some shelving, a radio, which may have been one of my shortwave radios. And the clogs on the top shelf, on either side of those flowers, I brought back from Holland on a trip to Belgium and Holland with the Bomb Road Primary School, which I went on in 1967 or 68, something like that. And on the other side of the room from the fireplace, two armchairs and a folding leaf dining table. Also that year, 1977, I passed my driving test and was able to drive without L plates this Hillman Hunter Estate, which I'd bought for £70, I think, from an engineer when I was working at Down Surgical in Church Path. I think the engine blew up not long after that. Thank you for watching. Press the like button if you like this video. Consider subscribing. Oh, and this black and white photo is from a postcard from 1957 of Elmfield Crescent. That's Elm Court on the left and Mainwaring Court in the distance. Not much traffic. Anyway, bye.